be kind of going with the grain this time. Oh, wow. That smoke actually helping them to peak uh, top mid there in MSL. I think with the sort of inadvertent jump there could definitely have cost him his life. That's a little bit scary. But he comes out alive and uh, falls back. And now game has sort of reset itself a little bit here. The round has NIP making their way out in the middle. Though and Kirby in the back lines here has to hit some quick USB headshots. He's running out of bullets and running out of time as well. And this is going to be a big problem. He goes down. Forrest getting a little bit too close. And now Schneider is trapped in turn. Trying to see if he can land a headshot on somebody here. Bomb is being crossed on over an MSL with a return headshot on Get Right. Exist running in and easily taking care of AZ. Well, that was awkward. Yeah, seems like AC. Well, this is also a bit more, more difficult here for Exist. He kind of has to go for a game of peekaboo, and he finds a headshot on MSL. That is so big. MSL counting on his teammate to keep him alive, or at least keep Exist pinned. And Pimp gets the kill onto Exist, but then he loses his teammate. 1v2 situation now for Pimp, and he needs to find the kid. He needs to get in here, and it's just not going to happen. Freiburg will pick up his first kill of that pistol round. Two for Forrest and two for Exist. Yeah, good job on NIP. I mean, the fact that Kirby was trapped alone back there for such a long time and didn't hit the shots, I mean, you you have to hit the first, you know, the first like four shots or something, because otherwise they get so close and you start running out of bullets and you're not going to get a chance to reload back there unless uh, you get some backup. Double scout though on Dignus, I kind of love this. No. Tag on to Kirby though. And wow. He's still jumping around there back there, Alu. The bravery. Yeah, it'd be perfectly timed flash to stop that rush coming in from NIP, though. And NIP, they still want to hang around here. They've got three players alive. Alu will take out Schneider. That's one of the scouts down for Dignitas. And now Kirby trying to find the headshot, but he's just not got any joy going. There we go. Takes out Exist, eats a nade for his trouble, and gets overwhelmed by Forrest in the end. And Pimp alone in the middle. Close in by Alu. Could have maybe gone down already, but he's going to barely survive. Although I think Get Right's coming up to finish the job here. Running map 10 and NIP going to pick up the round. So I don't know, a bit of a shame there. I mean, the double scout middle versus Alu could have paid off. And I think Kirby, as you said, like there were there were a couple of shots there that didn't go quite right. But it looked like he had the, the idea. Yeah. I just can't get over how fast you are moving with the scout. Like, Pimp, he's just a race car. You see how, like, how quickly even scoped he was just zipping around. Yeah. So tough to hit that target. And that, does play, that definitely is a skill. It's a skill. But it's going to be a hard ego coming in from Dignitas this time around. Double PJ50 bought up for them, but that's it. The rest of them are rocking USPs. And Alu, because of this, he knows they don't have helmet armor. He's stuck on a USP as of his own right now. Does kind of pay for it in the end, though. Gets a, gets a little bit of damage there. You see the prediction as well from Alu. He he scopes up on top of the box and as soon oh, so, but he, he watches on yeah. top of the box and as soon as he does that he sees that someone might be coming out from the from the stairs there. So pretty good job on his part, just uh, knowing the angles really well. I like this here from Kirby. He's like, come back to B. I dare ya. A double dog dare ya. He's so ready for it as well. This is going to be a good range for it, but AC's gone down, and so is Schneider and Kirby. So many targets, and just a pistol. He gets a shot here, and there's a team kill as well as Pimp picking up one, so a little bit strange, but still should be NIP winning the round, even if Pimp has his Mac 10. Oh, that was chaotic, to say the least, and now can actually can Pimp actually find something to use here. He's going to get real close. He wants to see if he can make this a little bit more expensive for NIP. I don't think that he realistically thinks he can win this round, but if he can get a kill with this MAC-10, this would be great. A lot of money going towards that AWP for him in the next round. Yeah, it would be very helpful. Maybe he can just stick around and make sure that NIP go up with the bomb as well. That's also sort of a, something you can try and do. He's going to get in there, do a little bit of damage. They actually lined up for him. Not that he could have won the run otherwise, but still, uh, Exist and Alu going to be able to survive the round, and that will put us into the fourth round. We'll see what they will have so far. Pimpy could go for the AWP. They will. No hesitation. Kevlar for him. And actually a decent nade count. And this is actually looking pretty decent here for Dignitas, all things considered. I mean, they don't have any kits, but they have a reasonable number of flashes and smokes to work with here in this round. So now we have to see what NIP have in store for us. And it's just a single AWP here for NIP. And it's on Forest. It's not even on Alu. So that's, uh, I mean, you pointed that out earlier, Anders. You know, the fact that we're seeing more of the Forest AWP here on Dust2. Seems to be the go-to here for NIP. MSL trying to play it close, and yeah, I mean, Forrest has been just a, a god on this map as of late, so I don't really, I don't really blame them for uh, for wanting to try and pick that up. Exist close range flash through, but they line up for MSL, and that is beautiful. Exist and Alu both going to be gone, and AC, yeah, that's smart as well. Not taking the fight, even though he was in a position for it, going to fight up against Freiburg a little bit here. But again, I'd say play it safe is much better at this point. 
no reason to give them a, a frag to get back in the round. Mm. And that gave time for Pimp to reposition himself at cars as well to help uh, shut down Catwalk. They do still have a smoke to use here, NIP, though. They could try and use it to just block off CT, and I believe that's exactly what's going to happen. And now it's going to be down to Schneider. He does have the backing of Kirby, though. I mean, there was no reason for Dignitas to take any risk by kind of, you know, lightly stacking a side or anything of the sort. Get right with the double entry, though. That's big. Still a man advantage here for Dignitas, but... This is much more manageable now for NIP, and NIP are trying to turn this into a 1v1, or like a 1v2 situation. Kirby's alone on the B site right now. This could really work out for NIP. Yeah, MSL knows they're coming this way as well, because he's top mid, but Freiburg just strolls into the bomb site, lands a headshot on Kirby, and now it is going to be down to a 2 versus 2 bombing plant forest covering from the back lines. He misses the shot. No idea how that looked like an easy kill, and now Freiburg is going to be alone. 1 versus 2. Molotov up. I think he spotted someone in CT spawn, or maybe he did. So now if he can just deal with MSLs right at the angle here, it's going to be spraying through. Good job, ones. Can he get the last kill as well? He's trying to, but not going to happen. Pip will take him out, and a good job there. No kit, but I think he's still just got enough time for it here. So yeah, Dignitas House will be picking up the fourth round. A little bit scary. I mean, the fact is NIP should have never been this close to winning this round at all. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. How the hell did Freiburg walk in and just completely slap Kirby immediately there, especially when Kirby had him dead to rights with his back turned to him. Just um, too many things going wrong for Dignitas in that round. Should never have been that close, you're right. Now, I mean, again, they're just so limited on the money, Dignitas, they just don't have a whole lot to work with. It's back-to-back -back rounds where they just don't have full nades. It's almost like watching ver them play versus Envy and Cash all over again. I was wondering, because Alu had the spawn for long then, and they brought another op on Forest, so they could have sent one long, one middle like that, and, and maybe not shown that they had the orb long, because the mid guy's going to take the shot first, so that might mean that if you're running long on the CT side, you're going to be thinking, well, there's no op here, surely. But um, they both were in the middle instead, so I feel like maybe a missed opportunity there. I do love this aggressive push from Dignitas. Look at the amount of information they're getting here. If they can just hit the timing before NIP run middle and into B, that would be huge. I'm curious to see if they're going to go for a smoke to block off CT, give up their um, give up their position. I mean, they're trying to force some kind of reaction, especially by trying to push out onto Cat, but then Pimp playing it very carefully, falling back onto Long, and it's going to come down to Kirby, and again, Kirby can't get the job done. That was the key frag. Garrett was carrying the bomb as well, and he dropped that, got bomb control. That could set up, that, that would have bought enough time for Schneider to get back in here and really wreak some havoc. Now, NIP, they have the bomb site completely under control, and Schneider doesn't get the kill on Alu either. What is going on? How are these kills that should be guaranteed just not coming together for Dignitas? Yeah, I don't know. That That's very hard to deal with, isn't it? Because you, you know yourself at that point that you just gave up the round, basically. So um, mentally, that's, uh, that's a hard one to get back from. That would have been a, you're right, a big kill would have bought a lot of time. I mean, Dignitas actually were winning really hard the information game in, in this particular round with that kind of push from Schneider there. But, I mean, what's also really strange is that when Schneider gets to T-spawn and looks down middle, he sees nobody. In spite of the fact that pretty much the whole NIP team is there, they're all either behind their box or behind the double door, so he can't see them. So it's very hard for him to make an accurate call about what's going on. And then they, they just win that one fight, and that's it. So Dignitas, they're going to be really disappointed that round. They are. At least they get to reset here and kind of skimp. Well, skimp in the sense that they saved four rifles. I mean, now it's going to come down to Kirby, and Kirby he's just going to go for the 5 7. Probably gets dropped that by a teammate. Yeah, it's not ideal here. By any stretch of the means here for uh, Dignitas. And now, well, Get Right's got that long spawn again. He's going to set it up, put some pressure out here with the smoke. He's going to, I mean, if somebody is playing pit or playing the angle, it's a bit of a tricky spot, but instead, Dignitas have elected to go up to Cat. They get that, that boost up and Pimp. He's able to take out Freiburg early on. Yeah, great job there. Very important frag. MSL trying to sneak through against Get Right of all people. Not someone who is easily tricked down on uh, a long, a position that he's been playing pretty much his whole career, it seems. Yeah, you come at the king, you best not miss, right? Yeah. The what game will go down eventually. AC and Pimp sort of doubling up on long, and as long as they can control that, they can give up the bomb site here. They've got a man advantage, and I don't mind them staying and fighting down here, but they shouldn't be forcing it. This cat plan is interesting. It's all going to be down to Exist, basically. Flash is there. Exist is ready. Needs to get the first. He's not going to get it, though. Two-man advantage now for Dignitas going into the retake. Four starts off strong by picking up the one, and it's going to come down to Alu now in the 1v2. There might even be a jump attempt here from Pimp, and there is! Pimp nearly gets the job done there. Did he actually... 
I think get the he, jump leg. Yeah, I think he did to get the jump leg, and then the follow-up Molotov meant that Alu had no chance. So, big round coming in here from Dignitas, and they saved both the orbs as well. I was wondering if they were going to do that. So, really good job there. Two and four, and moving into the seventh round. And NIP, well, they get the bomb plant so they can still buy, but they are starting to run out of money and maybe a little bit out of steam as well. Yeah, that's now it's where it starts getting a little difficult. Freiburg, go cat and find a pick. It's usually when Nipper and Crunch time, that's usually the call that's made. Yeah, put it all in Freiburg, why not? Get right again going out towards Long, though. And he's actually going to get behind Blue. Problem is, it's a different situation this time. There's three players here for Dignitas. They can actually take this fight with him. They can peek him together, and that's exactly what's going to happen. He catches a man out in the open, closes the angle, and now gets the info as well as to where the last man is. Into the pit he goes, and now Exist is going to be there to back up Get Right. This isn't going to work out at all for Dignitas. Wow, great timing from an IP. Kirby coming up with a big kill there on Forest. Pimp still out. He sees the shadow, but they're also in pit, and now he's trapped on long. Wow, that was very. That must have been very annoying. Because he sees the shadow, he knows there's someone there, but he can't go back. He has to stand and wait and hope that the timing works out in his favor, and it didn't. So, get right's just unreal good. When he's on point. That's when you that's when you really see like these godlike plays from him and it's all in the details. He spots the two by taking a step out, but then he immediately steps back into the left and turns it into a 1v1. So the advantage that Dignitas are trying to get by peeking together and being able to trade, that gets thrown out the window with how Get Right decided to play that situation. And then it buys enough time for Exist to back him up. Such a sick play from Get Right. Two kills for him in the round. NIP once again in control and Dignitas, I mean it's down to Schneider now just trying to save this AWP. Doing the best that he can. He's also only got two kills here in the seventh uh, round, so a little bit unfortunate. He will go down to Alu, who just seems to have no issue at all, so... I don't know. I feel like those two rounds from Dignitas there was sort of a sign that they were coming back into it, but uh, now they're letting it go again. And NIP, I mean, their economy is so much better than Dignitas is right now. Uh, yeah, they're... I mean, it's just Dignitas on pistols at this point. And so this should be a farm round for NIP. Should only get better for him. And there we go. Double op once again in play. Forrest doesn't need the help of his teammate, though. He's just going to go ahead and gap the fool. Now, <laughs> now, well, Exist holds his own over at long. MSL, no joy for him. And this, this, this should basically proceed in this fashion. NIP, just grind them out. Don't get, don't get close quarters. Don't give Dignitas a, a chance to catch you off guard and get a gun off of you. Just play the long game. Make it, take advantage of the rifles that you have. Yeah, fairly basic stuff. And I mean, Dust2 is also a map, unlike Inferno, where you can get a little bit closer with the pistols. If you're on the CT side, you can sort of, you know, try and hide at corners. So much more tricky on Dust2 because these huge ranges and even when you get to a corner, people can just throw grenades there and, and things get a bit more tricky. So, um, AC and Pip left here, two USPs. Could go for a jump shot, maybe. Gonna I try for it counts. once. <laughs> and then NIV is like, yep, we heard that. Oh no, and then Pimp. Yeah. No, no joy. Chance. No joy. Alright. Well, after the round of Eco now, Dignitas, they have a bit of a tough call, but Pimp has enough for the AWP glass cannon, so I actually wouldn't be surprised to see them go for the buy here. I think Kirby goes for Kevlar. Ooh. What does this mean? Oh wow, they're gonna. Oh, they're it's gonna, gonna be another up. round. So, I mean, that makes you think, probably, that they could try for a double up setup of their own. Because otherwise, you might just try and risk it here. But, um, yeah, I, I'm thinking probably a double up after this. I'm thinking they want to get all of the peak, and he misses the shot. Schneider's holding up close as well, and they've got nades out in their hands. Golden opportunity. Kirby finds the headshot on to get right. Exist takes out MSL. That's over at Long House, though. And the remaining two players liable to get picked off by Forrest. He spots the first, who makes it in, actually. And the second now, Forrest. Donuts go, donuts go, there's the bait. And he gets the shot. Oh. Pimp can't get that shoulder peek down. Forrest too quick for him. They were having a good time, though. You could tell that there was like some chemistry between the two, you know, just like, uh, yeah, right. You know, flirting like, a little bit down in the bugs, you, you know, I'm right here. You yeah. I mean, the thing is, dude, you don't pull tricks on a magician. No, it's true. Abracadabra and all that. Forrest, look at that top hat. It was the double up setup being picked up by Dignitas, so that's the reason why they went for that double save. This is one of those rounds where you where you give up a round freely like that, and then you have to get something out of this one, and Schneider will pick up for us, so it is a really good start. It's one of the orps already coming into play, and you have to make this this big of an investment. He needs to work quick. Yeah, exactly. You have to get instant results, and Schneider now, he's going to play it safe. He held. Well, 
not necessarily safe, but he could get the follow-up here. He's just getting some good wallbang damage on him. The follow-up is there, and he just annihilates Freiburg. That's the kill. Now, the question is whether he actually decides to be brave. Really, Schneider? Well, this is the thing. Last time it was just two, well, 5v3 like this. They actually almost lost a round to themselves. This time, maybe a little bit better start here as Schneider picks up a triple kill, and it's off to uh, a very fine start on the round. Get right now, Lou, on left, and... They just actually need to save everything here. They need the, to keep five members alive, ideally. Yep, exactly. That's why I was kind of like leery. You know, Schneider yeah. had already taken damage. He was down to half HP. Like, do you really want to go for the third kill and risk dropping the op? I mean, it's not like... But, I mean, you kind of want to make sure that you hold on to that gun. And all who's going to make it a little bit expensive here as he takes out AC. There is a man holding on the angle, though. And they're controlling long at this point, Dignitas. They're like, yeah, sure. We... we, we Managed to take the we the retake isn't too much of a problem for us. So if you walk up cat and get up there, that's not too much of a problem. So long as we hold on to long control Dignitas, that's all they care about at this point. Oh, Kebu's in this angle and they don't know he's gonna be walking in, gets the one kill, and MSL will pick up Alu. And that is gonna be the round, so they only lose AC. Pretty good job on Dignitas there, and I think NIP were just playing for the kills at the end. Yeah. What's really smart about what they were doing is they were leaving get right in the middle and having Alu push catwalk. So it, if Dignitas were getting worried, they might have tried to push up behind on Catwalk, and then Gera would have been there to pick up the kills. So I think they were sort of trying to bait out some aggression in the middle for Gera to pick up, and then ultimately, that didn't really work out. So, um, let's see. Preemptive shots coming through, not connecting, and it's four orbs on the map right now in the 11th round. Four orbs, right? That's also why NIP were hanging around trying to find frags. They had more than enough money to go for the full buy. Whatever strategy they wanted, Forest will get traded. Good timing there by Schneider, not letting Forrest get out of dodge. The Freiburg just goes barreling straight up B-slope. He's got a backing from his teammate as well. And now Schneider, just an impossible situation. Two angles for him to watch. He's not going to be quick enough. And NIP, they have the man advantage and control of the B-site. This is, again, a situation where Dignitas, even before the bomb gets planted, you can see them just running away. Yeah, and, I mean, they don't have a lot of money on the Dignitas side, but even if they did, it would, I mean, even if they all had 5,000, probably not be worth fighting at this point, because it's the B-bomb site, and it's really, really hard to get in there. Good quick call from NIP. They trade kills, but they know where the second guy is, so they can very easily make the call and say, if there is someone in the middle, they're going to be playing CT spawn, so we just put up a smoke and run. There's almost no way you're holding two people on B-site and then a third guy on the B-site of the middle. Mm -hmm. That guy in the middle will be on the on the A-site almost all the time. So um, pretty, pretty, you know, easy math, I think, for NIP to figure out what's going on there. Yeah, it's, uh, Terrorists win. they're just hoping for, uh, for a lucky break. It would be a lucky break for Dignitas if they actually made the call to stack, but... That's not going to be the case, and now it's going to be the force from Dignitas, and they're falling behind, similar to what we saw in Cash versus Envy. Now I mean, they just they just can't get their legs back under them. They get a little bit of a, a, a momentum going for them, and then just NIP clothesline them right back down into the dirt. There is a good healthy buy here for Dignitas, but if they lose this round, it's pretty much curtains. It's pretty much done. Yeah, that's going to be the, the, the good night call, I feel like. And NIP, I mean, five round lead right now. They did also leg Schneider in the middle. And maybe a second attempt there, Alu almost hitting that shot. It is getting a little bit scary for the Danish team. We need to start picking up some consecutive rounds. And I mean, I actually think they need to get back to like a good six or seven rounds here in the first half. Like I think six is like the minimum. It's just like this is some matchmaking stuff out of NIP, right? You know, it's like you'd expect to split the ops. They try and get an advantage elsewhere on the map. But NIP are like, nah, we just want to gap someone. Like, we really just want to tag and kill somebody going over to that B site. And then let Freiburg, or, you know, Freiburg, somebody just rush out onto the B site yeah. and get control of it behind that. I mean, the, the matchmaking style has done pretty, pretty good stuff for NIP lately. This is really fantastic as well by Schneider. Forrest keeps coming over here with the AWP, so Schneider's like, you know what? If you're going to be you know, trying to lurk your way in here with the scope, it's not going to happen, bro. Perfectly done. Schneider and Kerry working wow. well together as a unit. Two kills for Schneider, but that was a hard counter just to catch out Forrest. That worked out very well indeed. And NIP, they will have enough money for the buy, which is the hurdle that Demon has now have to sort of overcome. If they can win this round, and especially if they can deny the bomb hunt for NIP, then suddenly they might be in a position where they can actually pick up a couple of free rounds and close out the half as well. So we'll see if that's going to be possible. Alu in the middle. Does get the flick on Kebu, and he's down to 35. And he's already been struggling a bit, so you know, maybe a bit annoying for him personally. 
It's been very, I mean, all Lu and Force have been very consistent picking up those kills. Pimp, though, again starting off strong, again with the first frag of the round. AC takes out Alu as well. That's both ops down for NIP. Comes down to the rifle work now. Just so happens that they have some pretty good ones. Get right up on Xbox, not gonna find the one. He takes out Schneider, so he does bring it back to a three on four here for his teammates. It's gonna come down to Pimp, and now they know where he's playing from NIP. And there are, I mean, I can't believe it. How does this happen? Three kills in the space of a second. Yeah, I think that first shot by Pimp that he missed, it, it's one of those shots that you kind of have to hit. So as soon as you miss it, you get a little bit self-conscious. And then NIP which is like, well, we know where you're standing. So easy peasy. And get right picking up a double kill uh, definitely helps out as well. So um, now it's all on Kiabi to try and see if he can do some damage. Can't really win the round at this point, but maybe pick up a kill or two here and make sure that NIP are struggling for the rounds to come. I expect Intus will be forcing up in this round no matter what. I feel like they can't give up any more here, so... Might as well try and go for it. Well, yeah, they, it's, it's definitely that time. And you need rounds, you're desperate. You need rounds on the board. Kevin will be allowed to hold on to his AK, but this is only because NIP, they're all fairly limited on the money themselves. They don't have those big fat stacks of cash. I mean, they're, they have a couple guys up at six, right? But they want to make sure that they can full buy and get everything. And they're like, okay, if you hold on to the rifle, it's not the end of the world for us. Dignitas, thanks to, uh, well, Dignitas actually managing to get a reasonable buy thanks to that one round win that they got. Yeah, and that's very, very important here. I think they would have pretty bought either way, but, um, you know, the fact that it's a good buy is, is definitely going to be crucial here. Schneider, without any armor, though, but Alu waiting inside the hallways here. Going to be a quick peek there. Schneider down to 5 health. Pip going to get the first frag, but he's down to 34 himself, and it's going to be careful to go down first on the B-bomb side. Now, what could they do at this point? Schneider, if he had got that kill, that would have been big, but instead it's AC going down, and Dignitas, they can't do anything. I mean... They had four people left, and two of them were on very low health already. So what what could you do to get back in? This is like blunt force trauma to the side of the head right now. My NIP aren't being subtle. They're just taking a hammer and slamming down the toss. Oh. What? With what happened out on long? Oh, uh, well, MSL and Pimp finding kills. They're going to make it a little bit more expensive for a nip. This is important. And they get an AWP out of it as well. So that's actually doubly, so doubly good. Pimp gets caught, though, so one of them... Well, that's a rifle down. If they can hold on to both AWPs here for Dignitas, it's actually pretty reasonable for them in the next round. But I mean, with like Exist charging out and taking a fight with two guys, three guys at long actually, and nearly killing two of them. And then, you know, just brute force approach onto the B site. Like, NIP, they're just looking for these battles. They, feel so, they clearly feel so confident in their aim right now. Yeah, they do, and at the 15th round, we once again end up with uh, four orps, including an auto sniper on Alu. He just had enough money, so he still has the orp somewhere in the back line, but he just wants to make sure that anyone crossing is going to be damaged a little bit here, and the Dignitas, they're going to make their way across just fine. It is remarkable how rarely that actually works. Get right, winning that fight. They were all flashed, but somehow Get right unflashed a couple of milliseconds before MSL, and that's the opening frag. Uh, that's higher light real moment right there for Get right. There's still a man alive on the site itself. That's Pimp Schneider in mid. Misses the shot, though, so he's not going to be able to get anything there for his teammates. Instead, it's going to be Pimp alive on the A side, trying to fall back to a more defensible position. Smoke goes down, though, and now it gets very tricky for him. And he's exposed as well. So he doesn't know if anybody's going to be coming up Cat to greet him. There you go. That one Molotov is now going to have him flipping out. It's like, okay, I have to focus on Cat at this point. Yeah, he's just trapped in here. I mean, it's hard for him to, to get out. Schneider will pick up a kill there on Freiburg, so now he knows that he's covered from behind. He picks up a kill on Get Right. There's still a two versus three here. Not going to be an easy round to win, but it's doable, especially if NIP make just a couple of mistakes here. Forrest, looking over the smoke, though, and obviously Dignitas, has, they kind of have to go for it here. There's no saving in this round, so Pimp once again trapped on Catwalk. Yeah, and... That's a, uh, wow. Yeah, Exist gets, gets the angle on Pimp, but Pimp, he's got to be... Uh, it's just so frustrating, because he's thinking, oh, we killed the one guy who threw that Molotov. Great, now I don't have to worry about my back. And all he's probably walking through, not even looking mid. He's probably just focused entirely on the side, thinking everybody from NIP are playing from long and on the side itself. Yeah. And so, yeah, just that just that one extra lurker in the back lines there for Nip making the difference. 11 to 4, though, that's way more one-sided than I expected, honestly. Yeah, me too. I think, I think sadly, for Dignitas, has so much got uh, decided in that one round where they went the aggressive peak in Upper Dark and and they and Schneider went to T-spawn and Kirby failed that kill. Mm. I feel like a lot was riding on that round and um, that, that was just... Uh, it must have been mentally hard. I mean, they had a couple of um, 
of missteps against Envy as well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe it carries over into a match like this one. Things are definitely maybe still a little bit too easy to, um, yeah, to derail. Yeah, to get them to tilt. Yeah. It's, it's still a problem, it seems. Well, Freiburg experiencing quite a bit of trouble. He's doing damage, but he's just not getting any kills. Forest not going to be able to find that one either on the men crossing over. And really, Dignitas are going to be able to get the bomb plant out of the situation on B and even hold off the backstab. Get right is gone. We could have a boost opportunity here, though. And there it is. Ex yeah, nicely done. Forest boosted up on Exist. We'll find the first kill here in this retake. Charging on through close range here with the USP. Not a good idea, especially against the Tech 9. And Exist trying to play from the doors. Alu or somewhere down in the middle. Pretty much no chance for any kind of retake and thinking across the side. Rather than let them have long fights, let's just try and see if we can hunt them down, and that's going to be successful. Triple kill for Pimp, and it will be the round for Dignitas, a much needed one as well. Yeah, that's I mean, just for confidence sake, you know, just to, just to show that you're capable of winning some rounds here. You win the pistol, this is the one key round that you needed to keep your hopes alive. And the match is actually paused right now. So maybe Exist experiencing some trouble here. He hasn't bought anything. He hasn't done anything. Pause. MSL. Pause for pizza. I think pizza's arrived. Is that it? I thought you were going to go a totally different direction. I thought you were going to be like, oh, do you mean Pulf? But like, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> that doesn't I wait, work. I wait until Thorin is here before we, you know, pull before Pulf Before we up. have the Pulf talk. Yeah, yeah. Never, never give up on that. Uh, he played the other night. <sighs> Yeah, he, actually, I've been I've been secretly keeping an eye on him whenever he plays. You know, like I go and check out the match stats, and like more often than not, you know, he's like he's up there on the on the scoreboard, like well. he's doing a pretty good job. You know, <laughs> slowly. But, you know, no surely. matter what happens, Thorin will never give that. Like he will never like surrender that of to me. Of course like. not, bro. It'll be it'll be fun. It's like wired tight now. Yeah, I've got I've got like a lot riding on Paul for making it big. You know. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be the thing that I always bring up. It is a double scout setup here for NIP 11 and 5, and uh, a little bit of armor on the rest. So they've just purchased whatever they can. They want to make it back in quick and make sure things are still uh, run away with anything here again. Round difference is a really important thing. So NIP playing for a big win here. They only need five more rounds. And all right, long Freiburg and AC trading a couple of kills. MSL and the Freiburg going down and. Exist just making it around the corner. Jesus, yeah, that was a close call. He got shot in in the heel there. My new boots. <laughs> you monsters. Mm. Oh, wow, complete standstill in this yeah. round as well as uh, NIP are wondering where Dignitas are going to move to. They've got a bit of info in the middle. They've got, you know, Forest peeking there. Someone went through CT spawn. Forest can't quite see it yet, though. You can see he's kind of trying. He really wants to know what's going on while Dignitas are making their way up long. And they've got the grenades. They're going to make the cross here, so make sure no one is going to be scouting them. Exist playing on the wrong side of the smoke, and he's going to get downed. Allo trying to make the jump over, but it will be a bomb plant here for the Danes. And NIP, I think if they save now, that's actually a very smart call. Yeah, Only half of them are and half are charging, which is weird. It's like let get right go close, I guess, at the 5-7. And yeah. hold on to the two scouts for the next round. That's, uh, that seems to be the go-to play here for NIP. You could, you could. Although he's got 5-7 and armor, so he's still got like uh, a little bit to save, I feel like. Oh, but they're going to try and distract him. Schneider, he was distracted. Perfect. And I guess yeah. that Smokey can actually get out of here, get right. That's all he wanted. And he actually makes the jump. Perfectly done. Now they've actually got a bit of firepower. I wouldn't even be surprised to see a Nip go for like another Force Buy in this situation. Terrorist Rifle way. to play with. Yeah, it mm. feels like it might be worth it here. So um, they didn't win the round, but they certainly got a lot out of it. Let's see if they could. Yeah, you know that Envy, for instance, we brought this point. They would probably try and go yeah. for it here. Like this would be too much of a temptation. It, it would it would literally be like a doggy treat, you know, you're just like holding it up, you know. So, so you know, you killed, you got a gun, you still got three guns, you did some damage last round. Be too much. Uh, let's see, Forrest is fairly aggressive. Up on Catwalk, trying to see if he could find any kind of an entry. And Dignus has to play this one so safely. They really are worried that they're going to be giving up anything. And you can't blame them for it. They are right at the edge. And they're going to be grenading down Forest. So really well played there. And get right moving closer with the Galil. Can he spot out MSL? Can't see the shadow. There it is. Sprays down. But he's very low on health. And Pippa's right around the corner. And the preemptive spray not going to be working out. So Exist and Freiburg are left here. And Dignus. Oh, nice shot from Exist. But... 
still, they're playing this round really well. You know, they're whittling them down. And now they've got long control as well. They can start moving up onto this site. The remaining two players are going to be Freiburg and Exist. And Freiburg just walks right into a headshot from Schneider. Free fire though from Exist. He's proving to be so lethal with the CZ-75. He nearly took out Kirby last round. Long range spray. Now he gets Schneider. And they even, he's, I mean, they're going to be able to buy in the next round NIP. No problem at all. So it's totally worth it for him to run up here and see if he can't get something done. Ooh, grenade being put on in. Not going to connect with anybody and... I feel like he probably realizes that even with the kit with no armor, it might be better to just try and run away here. Even scouting just a couple of grenades as he's running away. 300 bucks in his pocket next round. Pick and get what he can. You know, sometimes you, you just gotta make every cent count. It's like that, that day after uh, New Year's Eve. So you are looking for like fireworks that haven't been, you know, gone off. We used to always do that. Made my parents very angry. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm thinking more along the lines of like living in Sweden, where it's just like, you know, make every dollar count because, you know, if you go out drinking with your friends and you look at your wallet the next morning, all you're going to do is cry. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I'm going to, this is going to, no, this is a horrible story. I'm going to tell it anyway. <laughs> I, don't, I only once, I think, in Sweden has said like, yeah, yeah, like I'll buy a couple of drinks for you guys. And then like, you know, I got the time. <laughs> I was like, regret. yeah, I'm never doing this ever again. <laughs> Um, over at Long, it's a complete melee, and it's going to be NIP coming out on top, only barely. Three people stacked up on Long, and you could tell the Dignitas House weren't expecting it, so they were just hoping to be able to simply overpower the defense there, but there were three people holding, and um, in the middle, Forrest will go down, so we're back into a two versus two. It's Pimp and MSL, see if they can make their way out of this round with a win. It's 11-7, so if they come out now, we might actually have a decent game on our hands here, because then I think Dignitas House will be within striking range, within range with the connection with this game, although get right doesn't even stop, gets the one, gets the double, and that's gonna be it. I was setting that up nicely, get right, you just ruined the whole round. Yeah, get right doesn't even care, he gets the op as well. I mean, I am still, you know, get right did his best there and he actually won the round, but I'm still gonna kind of like, you know, poke a little bit at Forrest and be like, Forrest, it's a man advantage situation. Yeah, you don't need to go into a place where you have to worry about like four different angles and you get slapped in the side of the head, and, like. Why do you push? Yeah, that was a bit unnecessary. I think you're right. That's, I mean, that does seem to be the heart. You know, once you find the confidence and you feel like, you know, we're just playing like almost like a YOLO style, but we just mm -hmm. like, we do whatever we want. Then like figuring out when to switch it off and be like, okay, now we need to slow down. That's like the next hurdle. That's where a lot of teams fail. You know, they have the confidence to take all the fights. They win a lot of them, but then they don't know when to stop taking the fights. And that's, um, I don't know, that's like the next evolution of the of that kind of team. You know, once you see that they can do that, then, you know, things are looking a lot better. Their final form. Yeah, their final form. I mean, I don't know, there probably is like a, a form after that, you know, the, a metagame never really stops in that sense, but it is pretty important to know when to call off the aggression. Forrest is in the middle, and there's four people right around the corner. He's gonna see the shadow first here, but misses the shot and MSL somehow gets to live Forrest, probably communicating to get right with the death cam there. That was the worst grenade that I've ever seen get right throw. <laughs> yeah, quite possibly. I'm actually uh, quite pleased with that grenade. I <laughs> personally. If you've ever watched my stream, you know why. <laughs> that was like the, you know, to stay in the New Year's Eve, you know, world. That was like the, the drunken fireworks kind of thing, you know, like, oh, you know. <laughs> Oh, toss yeah. the fireworks all over the place. Oh, good. Okay, where it's gonna go? You blow up somebody's car or something, and it's just a you know bad time. <laughs> bad time. Well, NIP, in spite of a failed grenade, are still in a pretty good spot here with about 25 seconds left, and get right in a very hard to predict spot. And MSL will go down, dropping the bomb, and in the middle, AC falls. So now it's all on pimp. 20 seconds, one versus four. No amount of fireworks is going to help him. It will be Freiburg to take the kill and NIP making it to 13 rounds and also killing the Dignitas economy entirely. Crushing it. Just completely eviscerating it. There's nothing left. There is nothing left. The Dignitas, they're going to have to go for the big plays now. It's going to be the I mean, the eco for them into the buy next round. That's all they're counting on, and they're not going to have any wiggle room at that point. NIP will be up on 14 rounds, pretty much knocking on match points door. AZ is the only one actually spending a little bit of money in this round, and it's going to be just a straight-up YOLO rush, it looks like, from Dignitas. Gathered up in the B-Halls, double flash and a single smoke to set things up, and then they're just going to go barreling onto that bomb site. Only one man here, though, and that's Get Right. A little early on the nade, unfortunately for him, but he's got that M44, and he's just going to go for a spray. One, two, not going to find the third. 
So Pimp has this little bit more time to go ahead and feed Forrest a frag, but then Get Right reclaims some of it and picks up a three in the end. That M4A4 at that point, man, that is the best spot to be in, pretty much. Yeah, it's uh, it's it, it hardly ever fails, does it? Get Right currently at 21 kills and the most on Demon's House is 16 on Pimp. Schneider on 12 as well, it's a pretty good job on his part here, but I mean, the rest of Demon's House, it's not like anybody's horribly underperforming, even though we've been like, you know, looking out for Kierbu, he's still doing like a decent enough job. It's just that uh, the whole of NIP right now are functioning on a higher level and they're only two rounds away from taking this match. Yeah, and there's the boost now, Alu. He's got the set up. Nobody there to greet him though from Dignitas' side. Again, Dignitas gonna go for that short smoke. And there's the angle, there's the shot, and Alu, he's not even going to hang around. And this is a one-two combination. Forrest has been spotted in mid, and he still hangs around and bests AZ in the end. And at the same time, Get Right finds a kill on Schneider, who was lurking in upper halls. This is a catastrophe for Dignitas. Three kills within the space of like five seconds, and this round now is just almost impossible for them to win. Yeah, and a critical round it was, but you're right, it doesn't seem to be working Ooh. out. Nice headshot from Kirby and Pimp to pick up a headshot as well on Forrest. So, with 50 seconds left, it's a down to a 2 versus 3, and Freiburg, he spots out a guy top mid, not doing too much damage. Get right, also lurking in from lower dark, so we'll see if it's going to be a way back. But I think Alu killed that hope with the shot there. Kirby, he almost made the jump. He almost. So close. Alu showing some of that finished ruthlessness, and he's out for more as well. Now he's just, he can just hold this angle. This is more to his style. Oh. Yeah, good job on him. Triple kill, 15 to 7. And uh, speaking of Alu, he's at 18 kills himself, so not doing too bad, really. You're right, I think the current world record for sniper kills in a in a war is actually held by a Finnish sniper. Isn't it? it what, didn't they call him, like, the White Death Yeah, or the White like Death, exactly. So, uh, yeah. Out there somewhere on the border between Russia and Finland and just went mad, you know. That's a pretty nasty spot. I think it's like out. 500 and something, you know, uh, kills, so a little, bit, a little bit gruesome, actually. Exist spraying madly with a P90. He's got the bullets for it in Freiburg to pick it up, so uh, double setup down on Law and working out just fine. It's three versus three now. We've got two scouts and a Gilead left for Dingus. Let's try and stop this uh, failure, but I mean, even if they win this round similar, could you really believe that they're going to make a full comeback into overtime? I don't know if I can. Even being Danish and all, I feel like it's, uh, it's hard a, to deal a with. A bit of a stretch. I and mean, you do have Kerby sneaking his way up. This could actually catch Get Right off guard. Yeah, there we go. Nicely done. Good reactions on Kerby's part. He picks up that kill and opens up the B site for his team. Now can they actually get the cross down? Do they have any smokes? They don't have a single smoke. They're going to have to go for a straight challenge. That's an option. Flash out. Kerby takes the peek. And now they get a cross to actually get that bomb plant down. Alu and Freiburg. Freiburg making his way in towards the window here, but as Alu goes down, so does Freiburg's hopes of actually winning this round, and he's been body shot as well with the scout. Can we do pick it up, and Dignitas will make it to eight rounds. Another seven in a row before they can make this work. Take and, it to um, overtime. Look at NIP's response. Just double up, auto sniper everything into this round. This is like they've been their go-to strat the entire time, Anders. They're just like... But it's Get Right with the Scar 20 this time. Yeah, and not Exist, you're right. Oh, okay. Where are you going to take that, Get Right? Way, way back when NIP used to play Train, like the old iteration of Train really well. It was some Get Right and all just like it was like a thing that we would always bring up. It's like, yeah, that's probably going to happen. So um, that was a while ago. Some good uh, memories there. AC being pushed out into the middle. Dicks has been very quick in this round, and they trade kills Forrest. He gets a shot on AC, trying to make it back around the corner. That was a quick shot, and that's going to make, make it four versus three here. I think this is just NIP's way of saying, stop right there, Danish scumbags. <laughs> Eight I, rounds is all you're going to get. Aren't you guys like the two nations that have fought the most wars as well, between Sweden and Denmark? Like, it's been like just... Yeah, to, to the point where like some part of like the south of Sweden actually just like wants to be Danish. They just like s stop the you know. I'll give you guys a quick uh, you know uh, cultural cultural lesson. There's a day on the year where they literally try to dig themselves away from Sweden with <laughs> shovels. <laughs> <laughs> that actually happens. Nice. Join 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 our side of things. We've even built a bridge now to Sweden, you know, trying to mend some fences there. Kebby trying to uh, see if he can win this round. Back and he takes down Alus. Now it's back into a three versus three. 
Uh, we'll see. I don't think uh, much is going to be decided in this match in terms of Sweden and Denmark, but still, Forrest with a good kill there, and Schneider actually from the Swedish side picking up his fellow uh, countryman. It's not going to be working out. Pip goes down. It's Freiburg to pick up the last kill of the game. He's got the kit as well. It's going to be 16-8 here. Victory for NIP, and Dignitas, I feel like maybe still just a little bit too frail. I mean, they they lose some critical rounds with, that they should have won, which in itself is annoying, but it feels like the team doesn't recover too well from it. Once they lose those rounds, they like more mistakes pop up, you know. Yeah. Unforced can... errors, as they would say in tennis. Unforced errors. Very well yeah. put. Very well put. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Cause it is down to experience. It's yeah. down to experience and keeping your cool. And uh, Some big plays. I've well. been talking about this for a long time. Yeah. Um... Some big plays, I think, as well from uh, from the from the NIP team there. So uh, some some good job, uh, some good work on their part there. If you have been missing some of the NIP matches, not sure how they've been doing in the tournament so far. Just generally uh, haven't been keeping up with uh, with any kind of results here. Then go and check out the score esports and also uh, download the application for iOS and Android on whatever cellular device that you've got going on there. So check that out and also you know articles and everything else. Yeah, it's right down there, the cool logos and everything. So good job there. Right, um, Envy winning against Stigertas, then also. NIP doing it. Not the best day for the Danish team, who actually otherwise in the standings have been doing pretty well. They were, I mean, they were 6-3 at the beginning of the day. That's going to put them up at 6-5. So now Dignitas are pretty much like on the cusp. Yeah. Like they're right on, at the point where they cannot afford to lose a single match more here in the standings. Whereas NIP, they're, they're on the up and up. I mean, 4-4 their score. So they they still got a while yet to get towards the top of the pack, but it's definitely looking a little bit better for the Ninjas, especially if they continue to play confidently like, like this right now, yeah. the way that they're seeing. Big plays. Yeah. You know, I, I just imagine... <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever it's seen like, that video, by the way, from... Uh, f that was like an old Hon video. You played Hon, I know. Um, you remember Snaking and Swindle Melons? They had like some epic forum discussions. If ever, so Everyone just go on YouTube, Swindle Melons, Snaking, Hon, you'll see. It's uh, it's some really good stuff. There's like a voice in the background that said like big plays at some point. <laughs> it's like I don't know why they made a video out of like a, a forum argument, but Han forums were good fun back in the day. Han forums, Han was good fun back in the day too. It was super aggressive. Yeah, I remember playing a lot of Han because when Dota came out, I was like, why the hell am I playing this like Dota? It's like so slow and, and well, I mean. So the